ain't gonna put y'all like blue face to this mom. Hey, we live. We going now. Yeah, buddy. Before I caught my chain, I brought my mama a house. Nigga. And now I'm about to go put like 30 racks in my mouth. Nigga. Yeah, we lit. It's for moms. I love you, moms. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in real quick on Houston rapper Young Ro, who just signed the Meek Mill Dream Chasers about a month ago. Has basically went and did exactly what he said he was going to do. Went and got his mom a house before he bought a chain. He came out, put that out there to the world that that was his goals and that's what he was going to do help his granny get off dialysis and get his mother a house. That's what he was immediately focused on. He wasn't focused on the chain. Blueface chimed in on it, gave his opinion on the situation about him signing and not, why would you sign if you don't have the money to spend 50K or 30K to get your mother a home and get your, um, get your granny off dialysis which was really none of nobody business i mean young Ro did volunteer the information to the internet and it was because you know this is the world we live in it's a bullshit world full of bullshit people who are gonna put time limits on your success and time limits and time restraints on how you supposed to spend your money people want to put your morals in place how you want to have them people want to tell you how to live your life Young Row is no different. Very talented artist coming out of Houston, Texas. The fans saw he signed with Meek Mill. Everybody instantly thought well, he should have 10 DC chains on. He should have a rollie on. He should have designer clothes on. That's basically the stigma they put in you. People didn't even let the ink dry before they started counting this man's pockets or what he got and don't got. Once he made it clear what he was trying to do, everybody should have took that and said, hey, man. That's real. That's real life situations. I'm going to tell you how fucked up the world is. The same people who was going at Young Row about not having a chain and getting a, and not having designer clothes and shoes are those same people that post those memes on Instagram with uh the Facebook owner and Warren Buffett. Oh, look at this. Such, such billions of dollars and not a uh, and not a Gucci belt in sight. Or they post that picture with all the Jay-Z and not every rapper in the game in the, in the uh, locker room. Oh, look at that. The richest man in the room don't have a chain on. But then when Young Roe passes on the chain, now it's a problem. So you can't make people happy. And I understand that. So, you know, him and Blueface had some back and forth online. They went back and forth. Meek jumped in now and basically said, hey, stop saying Meek Mill artist. Basically saying, hey, Young Roe, stamp my artist is the man that he is. And he's not trying to, he said, you know, everybody trying to put his team and all the other stuff and the antics and the back and forth. Meek Mill is not feeling that. He like, bro, fuck all that beef shit. We trying to get money. Meek Mill saying, hey, nigga, I'm trying to change laws. That was Meek Mill's standpoint on it. He went on Twitter and put that out for himself. Blueface actually did go back in Young Row after he showed the house and said some things on the comments. I couldn't confirm those. It sounded like some shit that Blueface would say, but I was just like, man, I'm not even going to get into that, whatever, whatever. Thing is, man, Young Row did what he wanted to do with the money and how he wanted his record deal to be. He has a long life ahead of him, dog. He has a whole rap career. You don't get your whole rap career in a month. People are so focused on this microwave era and this facade. It take time to get become a hot rapper. It take time to become polished and everything like that. Some people get it overnight. True, Blueface was more of a quicker success as far as how he blew up as a rapper. But everybody's shit don't work like that. Sometimes you got to go through the process. So Meek Mill has invested in the young road. He got his mom the house. He did his thing. Young Road did go at Blueface's sister. I personally, me, at this point in time, it's all entertainment. Young Row and Blueface. Blueface jumped out there in the beginning. They had their back and forth. Like y'all seen in the other video, DMs, things like that came out. 
but he jumped in the DMs of Blueface's sister. She clapped back with some disrespectful shit. She spoke on the dialysis. Why would you get a house and your granny ain't on dialysis? That don't make sense. Oh, yeah, and your mom lives with you. But it's like, are you serious? You and your mom was living with Blueface. Blueface is living, you know, Blueface is the one that got you apart, your apartment. You didn't have this before, Blueface, so why would you go in Young Row? But that's the world we live in where people feel like they have a voice and they trying to prove a point. And my thing is, this is no disrespect to nobody involved, Doc, but let's be more clear about what we want in the world and how we want to understand. I know this is the internet. I know it's unfiltered. I know that's how it works. Shout out to Young Row. Y'all gonna shit on the man on the internet. That shit, it just disgusts me, bro. I hear everybody saying, what he supposed to have? How he supposed to look? What he supposed to have? I'm like, bro, where's the process? Who gets everything overnight? What's Who raising you niggas, bro? That's what I really ask myself. Y'all counting another man pockets what he is and ain't supposed to have? Bro, give him some time. McMill flew him out to Philly, co-signed him, took him from the trenches. Hey, we going to get on. We going to get this paper, bro. Trust your process. You niggas want instant success, and that's why people don't last. That's why niggas don't make it. But I want to see them put this shit behind. Blueface, hot artists on the West Coast. Blueface has a lot of antics going on. This is a fact. But I do want to see Blueface win. I want to see Blueface have the jury and the money and the cars. I want to see Young Ro get to that point where he becomes that artist performing at festivals and shows and turning up and running his bag all the way up. I done seen him in the studio putting in the work. He actually earned that spot and deserve it. Everything happened for a reason. People, stars align and situations come about for reasons. How can people come out here and say how another man's situation should play out and shouldn't work? That's all I'm saying. So shout out to everybody. Shout out to Meek, the whole team, man. Everybody put this bullshit to the side. Go get y'all money. Young Ro got his tea late at the house. We know he gonna go get some jury. So my thing is now, everybody that went at Young Ro, do y'all come back and apologize? Do y'all say, oh, okay, you got your mom in the house, so now we understand? Or do y'all still try to go find other ways to nitpick? Well, hey, man, you still ain't got your chain. Come on, man, knock it off. Shout out to everybody, man. Y'all go do y'all thing. Fuck all that beef and shit. Get your money, man. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politicians TV.